has a bat program for 2017 in association with the BC Bats Community Bat Program. And what we're, the Demon Conservancy is doing is make, giving out 25 bat box kits. This video is in order to show how those bat box kits are put together. Okay, first we'd like to show the different pieces of the bat box. So we have a backboard, which is scored right to the very bottom for the bats to land. And this part, the top, which isn't scored to the top on most of the kits, is where the rest of the, the, the boards will be attached. We also have a front that comes in two pieces, an upper piece and a lower piece that we'll have a vent in between with a piece of screening on the vent. We have two side pieces. Most of them are only stained on one side, but they have to be, you have to remember that they're, the two sides are a matched pair. So you can't use them like that. You have to use them like this. And the staining was meant to be on the inside. Now you can see this one just happened to get stained on both sides. We also have a vent in the side, which we have a piece of screening for, which will staple on with the staple gun. And we have a roof that's beveled on the edge so that that edge will sit up against the building. This house is meant, that house is meant to go against the building. We have six little part side partitions that go between, or side supports for the partitions that go between these things. We have top supports for the partitions that are beveled, there's four of those. And we have one part side partition that goes against this side piece and has a space in it for the vent. So that's the broken, the separate side pieces. So that's all there is to the bat house. All right, the first thing is to attach the sides to the backboard, remembering that you have to have the grooving to the end. So the, the easiest way to do that, because you're going to have to flip it over to attach the sides, is to attach where the sides are going to attach against first. Making sure that the, how, the tops are no further than the very the top of the house that's going to go like that. So you want that, them to be flush. Stapling down the netting, then putting these pieces on. You can see we've attached these and so that it'll sort of hang together when we flip it over. Okay, now we've flipped the whole house over and we're going to attach the side pieces onto the backboard. First, we're gonna drill, drill holes and screw it on. Okay, this shows how we've, we've drilled and put screws in the back to hold the sides on. We also put the first beveled support for the baffle on the top. You see the bevel goes on there and I've screwed that on, drilling and screwing it. Now what we're going to do is attach the partitions. Partitions have little holes that are probably meant as vents, although the bats will probably pass through as long as both sides are, are beveled. But if you don't want to bevel your other side, that's fine. So what we'll do is we'll put these partitions in using the roof to make sure that they're not too high. And then we'll put the beveled one next to the roof on the top and the two sides on like that. And then we'll screw those on. Just the same thing we're going to do with the next partition. Two sides and a beveled back, beveled going against the roof piece. Just like that, same thing, screwing it in on the sides. And now we're doing the very same thing for a last time. Partition on and the last supports for the front. And it's a good idea to put some weight. You'll find these boards are a little bit warped, or they do warp with plywood. 
just to make sure they're pressed down as much as you can. They may end up a little higher than that anyway, but that's okay. We'll push the top down. So now we've got all three partitions. We stepped on it in order to screw so it goes as flush. Won't go completely flush. We're ready to put on the top. So on your pieces, they're only stained on one side, or they're not stained at all. So what I did was ch first chose the bad side, the, not, the side I'm not going to put out, and just got it ready so I know how big the gap is going to be to make it work with the roof. And then I'm going to staple this piece on here and then so it's ready when I flip it over. Okay, so now we flipped it over so that the, the uh, screening is on the inside of the vent gap. It's lined up with the top and the sides there. It's ready to screw on. Again, you may want to stand on it to do your drilling and screwing. And then we'll put the roof on. Okay, so now we're all ready to, it's laid flat. We've got the roof flush up with its bevel at the back. We're ready to put the roof on. So now it's ready for painting. You can paint it any color, make designs on it you want, as long as it's a dark color because you want it to absorb the sun. When we're putting it up, you can drill holes straight through the landing board. And for the top, the bendable pipe stuff can go right on like that in each side. And then you can put it and you can make it as long as you wanted to fit wherever you're putting it. That's all there is to it. The last thing to do is to get some latex caulking and to caulk the seams of the bat house. So you're caulking underneath, you're caulking the side seams and the back. So sides, top, front and back. And that's in order to keep all the drafts, all the any water that could come in. The bats, these maternal bat houses need to be as warm as they can. Thank you.